My name is Preben Abekær, Area Manager, UK. Uh, I'm in sales <laughs> and I've been involved in the UK Smart Meter project ever since I joined Flanagan in 2011. The um, studies show that in the uh, UK only about uh, between 60 and 70 percent of all gas meter uh, in the smart meter installations are able to communicate to the hub using the 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency band. SMETs have been um, added the ability that the gas meter can communicate to the hub through uh, the so-called sub-gigahertz band or based on the 868 uh, megahertz uh, frequency, a lower frequency thereby a uh, larger coverage. By uh, using uh, the sub-gig band, uh, the success rate is supposed to be between 95 and 97 percent of all installations. The main reason why Flundland has developed a gas meter that can communicate sub-gigahertz uh, is of course that if we did not, we wouldn't be able to address about one-third of the UK smart meter market for gas. So that's the first reason. Um, several of our colleagues uh, in the UK have decided to develop a um, two meters, one meter communicating on 2.4 gig and another meter communicating on uh, 868. Flunedan, we have decided to develop a dual band meter uh, and, and uh, we have done that because we find there are so many advantages and so much value to our customers by having a dual band meter that it by far uh, outweighs the little bit of extra cost from a dual band meter. When we're installing gas meters, the first thing to do is to uh, install the gas meter in the actual position where it has to sit. So literally the installer has to connect it to the uh, gas pipes so that it is in the right connection, in the right position. And then he can start actually uh, installing the radio. And as we remember, they have to start installing in 2.4 and see if it works. Uh, in the situation, and that will be every third installation, it won't work. They won't know in advance, but in every third installation, it won't work. And thereby the installer will have to disconnect the gas meter again, go back out to his van, pick up a sub gigahertz meter, go back into the house and start all over again. If they're using a flooded and dual band meter, the meter will very quickly recognize 2.4 won't work in this installation and then switch to 868, connect and complete the installation. The main advantage is uh, by having a dual band gas meter is really that it optimizes the whole installation commissioning process. We are, we are far into the UK smart metering project, but there's still a lot of meters to install. So our focus by this meter is really to make it as easy and as optimized as possible to get as many meters installed in the field.